Hello and welcome to this installation video for Mac OS for the Hypatia software that's being used for the Atlas Masterclass. Now this is the second in a two-part series about how to install the software. The first video is about how to check if you have the Java runtime environment installed on your Mac OS and if you don't, how to install it. So if you haven't watched that video or you haven't checked yet if you have Java installed, please go back and watch that first. So to actually install the software we're going to use on the day, we're going to open a browser. And for me, this is Chrome. It doesn't really matter what browser you use. Uh, and then we're going to go to the Hypatia download link. So this link is in your text file that accompanies this video. So you don't have to worry about copying this down right now. And again, and you can see on the downloads page, it's asking you to check that you have a Java runtime environment of version 1.6 or newer. So first we're going to download the zip file that contains the software we're going to run and we're going to use the most recent version of Hypatia here, which at the time of this video is 7.4. So let's download the zip file. Now for me, this shows up in the bottom left hand corner of my Chrome browser, but if you're using a different browser, it might appear somewhere else. But I assume for most people, it will also show up in your downloads file. So if you open a finder window and you go to downloads, you can see the zip file here. So before we double click and unzip this file, we're actually going to move it to our home folder. And that's simply because um, this version of this software has some trouble if you try running it from your downloads folder. So it's best to basically just run it from your home folder. So we're going to double click that to unarchive it and open it up. And let's see what we have here. Get rid of this window. So I won't go into it on this video, um, but if you're interested about what all these different folders are, you're very welcome to have a look at them and, and maybe look at the text and try and figure out what it's doing. Uh, but one of my colleagues on the Windows installation video actually goes through how to use all these folders in a lot of detail, so we won't do that here. Now on macOS, the way to launch this uh, is twofold. You can either use the terminal and use uh, the Java command, um, which is also in this sh shell file here. And you can see that the command is java minus jar and then the name of the, uh, the dot jar file. But if you're less comfortable in the terminal, we can also just launch it right here from the finder window. So to do that, we just double click. And you see that the first time we do this, we get a pop up. So let's have a look at this pop up. It basically says the file can't be opened because it's not from an Apple developer. So be very careful when you see pop-ups like this if you're not doing this with the Hypatia software because it could mean that the software that you're trying to run um, is malware and could harm your computer or harvest your data. In this case, that's not true. So we're going to click OK and then open System Preferences. So I'm going to do this again from Spotlight. So here's System Preferences. There's our Java installation at the bottom there. To allow the computer to open Hypatia, we're going to go to security and privacy, which is the little house with the, the lock on it. And you see there's this, um, this extra warning that's appeared that's not normally there. And it says the Hypatia.jar file was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. So for this, we're going to click open anyway. And before you do that, please only do this if you are the administrator for this computer. If you are not the administrator, have them sit, fit, sit with you whilst you do this. So go ahead and click open anyway. Open. And now it'll open itself. And you should only have to do this once. And so here's Hypatia. And you can see it actually appears in multiple windows. So if we go into this exploded view, you can see there's one, two, three, four windows that appear. Um, and you'll need all of these to actually run. If you end up closing one accidentally, then you can just uh, close all the other windows and, and restart as you need. OK, that concludes the installation and runtime video for Hypatia in macOS. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us.